Hi, Barry here, and I don't that often do uh, video reviews, but when I come across a product which I'm really impressed by, um, then I do tend to want to put my face to it and say, hey, this is, <laughs> you should take a look at this. And um, this product solves a big problem that um, you, know, you may not even know you've got, but if you've got a lot of articles on sites and they're doing their job informing people and Google is liking them, but you want to use those articles elsewhere, then you don't really get the power that you got uh, when you first published them. And it's not a lot of, uh, since Panda and all of the other updates with Google, there's not a lot of uh, benefit from blasting articles, the same article everywhere on the net. And um, especially true if you've got PLR articles that might be on a thousand different websites, uh, all exactly the same. So one solution to this, one way that you can really use those articles, that content, to get loads of traffic to your blogs or sites is by turning them into another medium. And the medium of choice, obviously, is video. And there are systems out there already that will turn text articles into videos for you. But the ones that really work well are quite expensive. And you have to have a monthly subscription and you know it gets quite pricey. The ones that are cheap or free just don't work very well. Now Andy Brocklehurst, who's a UK marketer and software developer, had this problem himself and he decided because he can do this sort of stuff to write his own software that would take care of the problem. And he's selling it for, well, next to nothing. And the great thing is it's the easiest system of making videos I've ever seen in my life. You, it's, you, you simply copy your article, paste it in, a couple of clicks and you've got a video with a royalty-free music soundtrack automatically added on the back of it. Now, if that's not cool, I don't know what is. You could make tons of these videos. I'm not going to try and describe it to you how easy it is. I'm going to let Andy show you. So let's just have a look at Andy giving you a demonstration of how you would make a video. So have a look at this. Video Converter and very simple program it lets you drop in any uh, text article so in this case I've just picked a uh, private label rights text article and dropped it in copy and paste as easy as that you can set the uh, font that the video will use and in this case uh, I'm going to leave it pretty much on the default we will make it bold and this is the size that it's going to start at and by that I mean if it's got a paragraph that will fit on screen at that size it will use that size if you're asking it to squeeze a bigger paragraph into the space then it will reduce it down so that it always fits on screen and let's set the color to maroon and say OK here you've always got a preview of what uh, the background and text is going to look like in the finished video. If I set the background colour, so now we've got yellow background, maroon writing, to Homer font, bold starting at 30 point, uh, point font and then it will scale down if it needs to. We can dictate the speed of the video and the best way to get used to these is just to try them out. Uh, normal is what I would say is the speed I generally use. Sometimes I do them a little bit fast. If you're doing articles that are that have long paragraphs, so it's going to be squeezing more text onto a screen, you may want to slow it down a little bit. It's highly unlikely that you would make a video using the extremes that are available here. But we give you a full range of speed. Let's make this one run fast. This is the output folder where it's going to put the AVI file and this is the name of the file that we've asked it to create. You can optionally compress the video. If you do that, uh, when we run this in a moment, you'll see it popped up a box asking us what codec we want to use. Uh, I normally just compress them using the Microsoft codec. It reduces the size dramatically without too much uh, quality loss makes it a little bit faster for uploading to YouTube and then you can specify an audio folder I've already got mine in here and that is a folder that contains WAV files and it will pick a WAV file from that folder at random and use that as the background music for this article 
if you want to force it to use a specific WAV file, then just point it to a folder that only has one WAV file in it. Then it can only pick that one. And if you uh, pick a WAV file that is longer than the video, it just cuts it off. If you pick one that's shorter, it doesn't loop it. So you need to bear that in mind. OK, we're going to click the next button. And now it's already created the frames. It's already created the video. It does it all very quickly. Because I asked it to compress, it's going to ask me what compression I want to use. I'm going to select the Microsoft standard codec. Now it's processing the audio files. So it's picking a WAV file and applying it. And now it's finished. And we get this message. It tells us where it is. I can just click the open location button. And that will open up the place where it's created the file. So if I now play this video, so you can hear the audio, you can see it running. If you want it to run through faster than this, then you just increase the speed. But as you'll see on the bigger paragraphs, you're going to need a little bit of time to read that. My personal preference is to briefly edit the article once I've pulled it in and make the uh, whole thing shorter. I'm going to stop that now. If I didn't like the audio uh, that it had picked, then let's just set this... Uh, to normal. I'm not going to change anything else. It will each time I click next and it generates this, it will recreate it using a different audio form, a uh, different audio file because it's picking one from random from the folder. If I show you the folder that I'm using, and here you'll see lots of WAV files in there already and all of the ones that, you, that I have here are supplied with the software uh, these are all royalty free WAV files and so you are legally entitled to use them on as many videos as you see fit but if we now run that again pull up that video we should find it's picked a different audio now something a little grungy so there we have it that's what the software does you've got complete control over the background color the font that's used creates those videos basically turns text articles into videos uh, which are can be put on YouTube and other video sharing sites as a good way of driving traffic to a website certainly gives you a way of repurposing uh, old text articles uh, I'm sure if you're a member of any private label right sites you've probably got thousands of PLR articles uh, most of which you can't use without making changes or running them for a spinner because you get slapped by the search engines when you do it as a video the uh, only thing that the search engine is picking up is a description that you write so as long as you make that paragraph unique when you upload your video, uh, you know, the thing's going to get found. So that is article to video converter. Nice, quick, simple, easy to use software. And uh, thanks for watching. Now you've got to admit that is pretty cool, right? Um, you can make like 30 videos in a morning using this. You know, if you've got like I have, hundreds of PLR, thousands of PLR articles on my hard drive, you know, all of a sudden they're useful again. All of a sudden you don't need to throw them away, you just need to break them down into smaller paragraphs and bang, you've got a video that you can put on YouTube, you can optimize that video for the search engines with your own description, your own keywords, and bang, you're getting traffic from that video to wherever you want it to go. So that is powerful. And, you know, for less than 10 bucks. Anyway, you click anywhere on this screen, on this video, click anywhere on the video and you get taken directly to the sales server where you can learn more about this product and you will be amazed at how cheap it is and how well it works. And you look at the reviews as well while you're there of the people that actually grab hold of it.
Okay, so that's me signing up. I hope you find this useful. I hope you get a lot and lot of use from it because I know I'm going to. Okay, bye for now.